Hey, welcome to Hello Math Hub. Let's quickly take some questions for you like post mathematics. So, number one, the first one here, they told that the area of a parallelogram is 513 cm squared and the height is 19 cm. You have to find the base. You know, the area of parallelogram is the area is equal to base times height. Okay, and this question, the area is 513. So, that means 513 is equal to base times the height the height in this question is 19 so to easily find the base you just divide 513 by 19 513 divided by 19 so if you divide that you're going to get 27 so the answer to this question is 27 so for the second question you have to factorize completely z squared minus x squared minus z plus x all squared so this part here is difference of two squares okay difference of two squares is something like this you have x squared minus y squared the answer will be x minus y x plus y so that's difference of two squares so you're going to, you're going to apply that here okay so if you apply that in that particular point you're going to get z z minus x z plus x okay then you have this second part here this part minus z plus x all squared so you can see that z plus x is common you have it here and you also have it here so if you bring that part out to factorize it you're going to get z plus x then to this one will cancel out because they are the same so you'll be left with z minus x then minus so you have two of it here two of it here so by the time it cancels out it will remain only one then z plus x so take note of the minus sign okay by the time this minus sign goes into the bracket it's going to change everything inside the bracket so you're going to have z plus x here then this one will be z minus x minus so this minus will change the sign of what's inside the bracket so you are going to get minus z minus x so we just simplify this out this z cancels out because z minus z is zero okay so you have z plus x everything in this bracket is minus x minus x which will give you minus 2x so that will give you minus 2x close the bracket so our answer is z plus x into bracket minus 2x so we move to the option and check if that is there so z plus x so that is option b so for the next question we have to find the difference in cost per week between employing 20 women at a weekly wage of 230 so you have 20 women and you're paying them 230 naira each so that will be 20 women times 230 if you multiply that you're going to get 4600 so that means you're paying the 20 women the total of 4600 naira okay then you have 18 boys i want to pay them 198 naira each so 18 boys times 198 naira so that will give you multiply this to 18 times 198 so you're going to get 3564 so what they want you to find in this question is the difference in the price okay difference in the wages for the women and the men so just multiply these two guys here 4600 minus 3564 so 4600 minus 3564 so multiply if you subtract that then whatever you get is your answer so this if you subtract this you're going to get 1036 so this is the difference in wage between the um the money for the, the boys and the women so the answer is one zero three six so for the next one you're told that a pillar so for the next one, we are told that a pillar is four kilometer east of a pillar. 
So for the next one, we're told that a pillar y is four kilometer east of a pillar x. That means if you look at um pillar x, see this pillar x for example. This pillar x. So for the next question, we're told that a pillar y is four kilometer east of a pillar x. So if this is x for example, this is x for example, you put your cross like this on the eastern side. Of X that's where you have Y so this is Y here this is Y this is Y so we are told that a pillar Y is four kilometer east of a pillar S that means on the eastern side of x that's where y is so put your cross first you draw your x this is the eastern part of x here so this is where y is here put another cross there okay then y another town or a pillar z is four kilometers south of y south of y means the bottom part of y so this is south of y here the bottom part that's where z is okay then you just join z to x like this so to form a right angle triangle the angle here is 90 this is point y okay and we are told that this piece four kilometer in the question this part so is four kilometer in the question so anytime you have right angle triangle like this with equal sides for the opposite and the adjacent this triangle will be um the angle there will be 45 degree so the angles here will be 45 the angle here too will be 45 degree so to get the required bearing we need to follow the question we have to find the bearing of z from x so from x so you go to x and you look at z so standard x like this and move until your arm touches the line joining x and z so this is the line joining x and z so you move like this until your arm touches this line and you count all the angles you see on the way so for you to move like this this is 90 okay this is 90 90 then plus 45 so 90 plus 45 will give you 135. 90 plus 45 will give you 135. So that is the required bearing. So the answer is D. So for this next one, we have to find what is the circumference of latitude zero, 0 degrees south if R is the radius of the earth. So this is under long term latitude. So R is the radius of the earth, okay? Very small R is the radius of the latitude. So but there is a, it's a formula joining small R and big R. The formula is small r equals to big r cos cos alpha or cos theta anyone you like so let me just use theta cos theta okay but we have to find the circumference from circumference is 2 pi r that's the formula of circumference but we already know our small r is equal to big r cos alpha so the answer will just be 2 pi instead of writing small r let's try this formula there that will be big r cos Theta. So go to the option and look for 2 pi big arrow cos theta. So the answer is B. Then for this next question, I have to find the, the population of a, of a village is 5, 8, 4, 6. You have to express this as to 3 significant figure to 3 SF. 3 significant figure means you need just 3 numbers. So the first 3 numbers are 5, 8, 4. These are the 3 numbers you need. So you look at the fourth number. The fourth number is 6. So you turn it to 0. Sorry, turn it to 1. Sorry. And add it to this four so and turn this six back to zero so the answer will be five eight five zero okay so the answer is option a for this next question we have to find the possible values of k for which this expression and this one has a common factor for which we have a common factor so you can see that this one is already complete but this one is not complete. I have to find the value of k. So just easily factorize the second one. So you have x squared minus 7x, sorry, minus 18. So you need just two factors. The two factors that, that you need that can give you 18 is 9 and 2. And if you add it, you're going to get 7. So you have 9 and 2. So, but this 18 is negative. Okay. And this 7 is positive. So you need to make this 9 to be plus and this one to be minus. So if you, if you do if arrange it very well, you're going to get x plus 9, x minus 2. This is the factorization for this expression. So 
since you've gotten the factorization for the for one of the expressions this is to divide the second one okay so we're going to use x minus 2 to divide x squared plus 4x plus k then from there you can get the value of k so since it's a factor the remainder is going to be equal to 0 so we are just going to write x squared plus 14x plus k x squared plus 14x plus k they are dividing it by x minus 2 so x and x squared like this you're going to get x okay x then x times x squared x times x that will give you x squared 2 times x that will give you minus 2 x okay then you bring this one down from this part you add okay 14 this is return to plus okay from normal subtraction it should become plus so 14 plus 2 is give you 16 x bring this k down here then that k comes down it becomes plus k then we go again x in 16 x that will give you 16 so this place will be plus 16 then minus 2 times plus 16 this one give you minus 32 then subtract this one everything here becomes 0 then this one becomes plus so you have k plus 32 but this remainder must be equal to 0 since it's a factor so you have k plus 32 is equal to 0 from there k is equal to minus 32 so this is the first value for k so you can easily go to your option and look for the answers there now anyone that has minus 32 will be the answer so instead of doing the second the second part just choose this as your answer straight up okay so i hope you enjoyed this short workings okay guys i just um, finished just now i hope you enjoyed it if you have any question please let me know in the comment section so i can post more videos like this because i want to cover a lot of questions for you guys that's why i'm rushing these videos and i need to cover a lot of things so i hope you understand Please like and subscribe to this channel. Share this video with your friends so that it can have a wider reach. And if you have any question, please let me know so I can teach you very well so that you can understand. Thank you for watching my video. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.